All right, you what is up? We got a, a video today on a cool little EDC sling here from a company called Tactical Geek. Bought this on Amazon. And it's like super like underrated, not a lot of reviews, just a few videos they had on theirs and like maybe one other one for the smaller size. They do come in two different sizes. This size is the larger size and then they have a smaller one. The difference in price is like five bucks. So, you know, not a big deal. If you want to spend a little extra money, you get a lot more storage. So, but let's take a look at this bag. Uh, let's look at the dimensions here. So you're coming in about 11 inches long. And I think the dimensions on the thing say six and a half inches, but it's closer to six inches tall. Um, so it is a pretty decent sized little sling bag. You can fit quite a bit in here. Um, obviously you got a hook and looping panel on the front, which is nice. I got a bunch of different patches on there. Some Ranger eyes and some other various ones, medic patch. I may take that off. Um, and it's all hooking up here. And then you've got a few different Molly slots here. If you want to attach things there, which you can totally do And the bottom, you've got a shock string or shock cord, um, with a tensioner. You can put an umbrella, a water bottle, whatever on there, which is also very cool. Um, this front page or front part here. The nice thing about these zippers too, is they all have these nice pulls. I really, really appreciate these pulls. Like these zippers are really nice. They're really smooth. Um, Stitching is really nice, but then you just have this big front pocket. It's just kind of an open pocket. There's no organization or anything, which I actually would like to see. There's organization in the inside, and I would love to have seen that in here. But I just keep a uh, boo-boo kit in here, as well as a uh, Nightcore 10,000 milliamp charging bank, and uh, this little charger cable slash phone stand thing that I did a, a video on just recently on my top access EDC accessories under 25 bucks. Um, really nice little thing to have. So I got something to charge my phone with, and then I've got some dog poop bags in case I use this as my dog walking bag, which I think I will from now on. So, um, and then you have your main compartment here. You do have, um, before I get into the main though, you have a back compartment that is just open as well. You have a, a Velcro closure here. You can see I have a night for EDC 27. Um, you have a bunch of Molly on the back as well. Flip this around and look at that. I just keep this as a spare light. I'll usually have an EDC light on me of some sort, but if I don't, then I've got a pretty powerful um, light on me. Uh, on the back panel, you can see it's mesh, breathes nicely. You've got your Molly attachments there. And then I've added a Hero Clip Mini here on the side. These are amazing. There's two purposes for this, or multi purposes for that, actually. The straps are really nice and fully reversible so you can change them if you want to do left shoulder carry right shoulder carry it really robust and a quick release um you literally just uh let's see yeah, there's a little button here push this in and this just slides up like so and so you can quickly release that on both sides and then again you can change the location with these um, loops here it is kind of a pain but i had to i changed mine out of the box uh just the way i like to carry it the strap is also very padded, which I freaking love. I'd say the biggest issue I have with most sling bags slash fanny packs that want to be sling bags is the strap sucks. It's never it's never comfortable. This is a super comfy strap. It's got this nice padding. You got more Molly attachments here. Actually, cut that, which is a bummer. Um, more Molly attachments there if you want it. You got a quick release buckle here, which is super nice. Um, swivels. So really thought of a lot of things on this bag. Really, really nice. Um, and then you have this little sleeve here that you can store things in. I've got a Benchmade uh, SOP, SLCP, Soft P Mini dagger in there, and it just sits in the, so over the shoulder, and it's just really discreet. You don't really know what's there. You just have this little hook there. Most people aren't gonna know what that is. Um, so that's kind of the outside of the bag. Let's look at the inside. Now I do have a firearm in here, so just a heads up, but uh, this is how sometimes I will conceal carry with this. If I want to do off-body carry, which isn't frequent, but I mean, probably like once a day at least because I walk my dogs. I don't like having my um, gun in my waist when I like exercise a lot. So so the main compartment is, um, it doesn't go all the way down. It zips about three quarters down. It has three pockets there in the front, as you can see. I've got a medical kit in here, a trauma kit with uh, chest seals, sea locks, um, quick clot. The battle wrap, um, uh, compression bandage, and a snake set systems tourniquet. And then I've got my SIG X macro in here. So I've got it attached to this holster holder. So this is actually the holster I'm using, the Antimatter Industries holster, which is still coming soon. Um, so keep an eye out for that. And I, what I did is I removed the um, 
I'll just pull this whole thing out because it's Velcro. So you can kind of see. So um, I don't remember. I think this is a Vertex product. I can't remember where this thing came from. It's really nice because it's universal. And you just use your same holster and it's got a strap and it just clicks in and it doesn't go anywhere. You can use the same holster that way. If I want to carry this in my waistband, I can just take it off this, put it in my waistband. Um, I normally have the uh, magazine slash tourniquet holder on the side that is quick detachable. So I just attached it for this sake of uh, carrying this way. Now let's pull this, well, let's pull that all the way out and put it to the side. Um, so you have a nice big compartment. If you don't want to conceal carry with this, you certainly don't have to. You have a whole hook and loop area in here that you can store. Um, you could put like an organizer panel, like a Velcro admin panel right here. A lot of people do that. You can also carry an iPad mini in here. Um, but what I wanted to see as well is I have, if it would carry a full size pistol, this is an MP 10 with a five inch barrel, pretty big gun. Um, probably the biggest pistol I own, 10 millimeter. And look at that guys, it fits with a uh, Velcro holster, boom. You can carry a pretty freaking big gun in here if you want. So they do make a smaller version of this bag. So if you carry maybe an, an EDC, like a, just a regular 365, not an X macro or a Glock 43X or something like that, you could probably get away with a smaller bag. Um, I was, I was torn, it's $5 difference. I went larger and I'm actually glad I did because you can carry quite a bit in here. So there'll be times where I don't use this as, like I said, an off-body carry solution. And I'll just throw in like a, a pouch or two in this compartment, maybe a notebook, tablet, whatever. You know, maybe I'll take like one of my pre-made little kits that's got a field notes and screwdriver and knippics and you know a bunch of other stuff. And I can just toss that in there. Got tons of space. And then it's a pretty lightweight carry. So uh really excellent bag, guys. I mean, I was looking at a sling because I have a lot of fan waist packs, and they all suck as sling bags. That's the thing. They're never, the straps are never good enough. There's too much, the straps don't adjust well, the straps are too thin, they're just not really good. This is a dedicated sling bag, it's got a nice wide strap, like a seat belt type material, but then it has this nice padding. I mean, it is super comfortable, guys. This, this is a super underrated bag. I haven't seen hardly anyone do video on, so as soon as I got it, I wanted to test it out. I've been carrying and using it for the last few days, and I wanted to do a video on it because I think it's really worth um, looking at. You can buy it on Amazon, it's on Prime. 69 bucks, pretty cheap. Um, sure it's made in China, which which every bag is in these days. I mean, I can think of hardly any that aren't. Even that really stock stuff's not made in the US. Um, and yeah, it's just an excellent uh, little EDC sling. It is an actual sling and not a waist bag. You're not gonna put this on your waist. It does not convert. And I'm, I'm okay with that. I want a dedicated sling because I have waist packs that work good as waist packs, but they don't work good as slings. Um, so I'll just have a dedicated waist pack if I want that. And if I want a sling, boom. This is my go-to. Um, really nice for off-body carry. Also very nice just as like an EDC sling. Um, and you know, you could obviously add whatever you wanted to this kit. That's just kind of what I have it loaded out as, but really excellent. Comes in multiple colorways. So this is OD green and black. They have black, um, multi-cam black, like a purple black, which is pretty cool looking actually. I was kind of tempted purple pinkish type kind of color, but just couldn't bring myself to do it. Uh, they had like a white uh, camo. Some of them have X-Pack uh, material. So they have a lot of options. I'll link it down below again, large and small versions. I almost bought the small version too. Kind of wish I would have just so I could compare it. Um, but overall, super stoked, happy with this bag. Really good alternative to like a, um, oh man, the snack pack. Is it Data Industries? Oh, that's gonna bug me. That makes the snack pack sling. It's like 150 bucks, really high quality, nicely made. But this is a really about half the cost, uh, more than less than that, more than half the cost. And it is really well made. And yeah, so far, really digging it. So anyway, guys, that's going to be this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. I realized I probably ought to show what it looks like on, so we're not wrapping up the video quite yet. This is what it looked like when it swung over to the front. So it's it's kind of like not quite a chest pack. You could tighten up the straps and make it more like a chest pack if you wanted to, but it only have the two attached ones here. But it kind of just sits right here. And then you typically when I carry it, I carry it like so, and it kind of sits right about there on me. Oh, let me back this up a little bit. Just kidding, well, let me. So I'm just gonna back up. So it sits right there about me. Now you could obviously carry it more in the middle of your back like that, uh, but it is pretty flat. It's not very big. The only thing I don't like about a lot of sling bags is they're too big and too on your on your uh, back and stuff. So this sits pretty close to your body. 
And like I said, you got this strap right here, quick release. If you wanted to quick release it, you can with this little button, easy peasy. So nice little guy, you your sock P dagger there in case you need it. Um, pretty cool, right? Uh, totally digging it. Thanks for watching guys and see you on the next video.